Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we have an emotion graphics tutorial in our series and I will show you how easy it is to create a globe world map HUD animation in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after create your composition, I have here in my comp this Illustrator file, world map, and it have uh, transparency on it. So what we're going to do is start creating the animation on this map. So select the pen tool and don't select any layer. And let's start creating some rough shapes here. So just like this and deselect this one and let's create another part one or maybe here put it always uh, behind this in some parts you can be precise like here So we are going to start building this whole map like this and I already have done this so we are going to have multiple parts uh, on each shape layer like this and so the next step is to animate this so hold T on the first one let's solo it actually and create keyframe and let's put zero on the first one and let's make another keyframe after three frames so maybe 60 another two keyframes or two frames and make make it there around 10 and then maybe 10 frames and let's make it 100 so we're going to get something like this a quick flash or blink and so we're going to copy these keyframes control c and Let's back to the first uh, frame and select all of others shape layers and hit T to bring the opacity here and then select all these shape layers and control V to paste them here. So we are going to have something like this and let's answer all of this. We are going to start at the same time. So we are going to randomly stagger these layers. going to have something like this maybe this one start so now we have created all these masks so let's duplicate this map here and select all these layers and pre-compose it and let's rename this to mask and move it on top of map layer and let's change the track map to alpha and turn on visibility on this one and just let's preview this so we're going to have something like this so as you see we have this nice uh, animation here and so the next step is uh, to create a new solid layer and let's name this grid and hit OK and then add grid effects and so let's solo this and change the size from to from corner point to width and height sliders and let's make it something like this maybe and then add CC sphere and so we're going to have the sphere and make the radius something like that and on rotation hold alt and click on rotation y and then type times times 
45 so it's going to start rotating so now we have this uh, one created let's make the borders actually just two so we have something like that we can change the light here maybe like this that'll look fine and then we are going to actually pre-compose the mask and map again and let's name this map and on the grid we are going to copy the cc sphere and paste it right here and here we have these two are starting like this as you see it looks pretty cool all the animation is mapped on the sphere so if we want to add those parts that are blinking so all we have to do is open the map and then go to the mask and let's create a new shape layers uh, one just one or multiple it depend on what you want to do so for example i'm going to well, need mask so we need to create a shape layer so just select any part you want for example like this and on the same shape layer i'm going to select another part so maybe this one okay so i just select these three parts and so what i'm going to do is just copy these uh, opacity keyframes and just i want to paste them just maybe here Control v to copy them and paste them i mean and so we are going to have let's answer all these we are going to have something like this and those are not show up so what we're going to do on the last shape layer going to change the blending mode to stencil alpha so what we're going to have is something like this but we want this to keep going on the whole comp so hold alt and click on stopwatch of the opacity and let's add this property loop out duration and so we're going to have the animation looping there so here we're going to have those blinking the whole comp so here we are going to have this preview so as you see we have these uh, nice animation here with these blanking and all the stuff we have done we can make it a little bit cool by changing here the light intensity and all these things here to make it more interesting if we want to and also shading and of course we have the rotation we can animate it and look on the sphere the way we want so basically here let's delete this and go back to the grid and select the cc sphere and copy with property links and just paste it right here so just we're going to do it here so they are moving together and let's change the lights and the shading and of course you can do more than this so this was the story of today hope it was very useful for you guys and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to support me and stay tuned for more videos coming soon thank you for watching